Alrighty, we're going to hook up a uh, three phase 208 receptacle. Here in the country I was born in, we use 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps. On 208, there is no neutral, so we have a black, which is line one, red, which is line two, blue, which is line three. If you have to use a white wire, you can always remark it with some uh, blue electrical tape. So first we'll take our a green tail here and we'll bond our ground wire to the box. You can buy these ground tails pre-made up in packages at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or any electrical store. So we'll just make sure it's tight. Okay, we'll get our wires tailed together here. We have a tail to go to our outlet. We'll get our wires lined up evenly here. Get the insulation even at the bottom. crooked so I have to go back to ground zero and just start all over again. You don't twist and moan, you don't get frustrated, you don't carry on because that's not going to help you. Get the insulation even at the bottom. Okay, we got them twisted in. We'll clip them so they're all even on the bottom here. We'll take our red wire nut, we'll put it on here. Okay, we'll pull it back into our box here. Now you can take your pliers and we'll Make it a little, make sure it's nice and tight. I like to make sure my wire nuts are all nice and tight. I hold that tail so it stays nice and even inside. So it pushes back into our box here like this. Okay, so uh, black is line one. Red is line two, and blue is line three. And of course, the green is the ground. Okay, on the, term, on the receptacle, you have your green, which is your ground. You have your X, your Y, and your Z. So we'll put green on the ground. Make sure our wires are all nice and straight to go in here. Make sure it's long enough. We get our copper under the pressure plate all the way, and we can 
take a smidgen more off of this. Open up our terminals here. Okay, so we'll put our green uh, ground wire under our green terminal and make sure we don't get our insulation caught under that pressure plate. Make sure it's nice and tight. We will put black on line one on our X. We're going to make sure our insulation is not caught under the uh, pressure plate. Okay, we'll flip it around and we'll put red on line Y. Make sure we don't get our insulation caught under the pressure plate. And we'll put blue under Z which is line three. Now, if the motor turns backwards on the device that gets plugged into this, you can just reverse any two wires. You can reverse the red and the blue, or reverse the red and the black, or reverse the blue and the black, and then the motor will go the right way. I see a little copper there, so we're in the right way. I'll make sure it's not, all our screws are nice and tight. Here. Okay, so now we can turn our power on and verify with our meter. Okay, we'll put this on 200 volts because each leg is 120 to new ground. So we'll touch one to our ground. It doesn't matter which one. So, black to ground is 120, red to ground is 120, blue to ground is 120. So we have our uh, 208 coming to our uh, three-phase receptor. So now we're ready to screw it into the box. We'll just shut our box off again and we'll push this into our box, make sure our wires don't get pinched anywhere. Okay, nothing's pinched and our wires are all nice and free of everything. We're going to make sure our screws don't hit the wires here. Make sure that's not hitting any wires or... that by hand so we don't strip our holes out. And we'll just look make sure our screws are not hitting the wires and our wires aren't pushed against any sharp edges. They're clearing the screws. And if you're using uh, circuit breakers you put your uh, three live wires under these three uh, terminals here. This is a three pole breaker. This is a squared EQO style. So that is how to wire a three phase 208 20 amp or 30 amp receptacle here in the country I was born in. 
the, this is the 20 amp the 30 amp wire is the same way but you uh, the space between all these is a little bit different but the wire is the same but you use number 10 wire and this is a 20 amp one and we used number 12 wire peace thanks for watching